so our objective today is students will be able to add video to their Glogster. So the first thing you want to do is open up Glogster. Here's my Glog. And you want to click the video link on that menu on the left hand side. So I'm going to click video. And from here you have a couple options. The first one is to upload. So if you click upload, it'll um, open up your file browser and you can upload any movie that you have saved on your computer or your flash drive. So this could be the photo story that we did earlier, um, your movie maker project, or any other video that you might have um, on your computer or on your flash drive. So I see my photo story right here, so I'm going to open that. And in a second, it's going to start processing. There it goes. So right now it's processing or uploading that video. Um, so while that's waiting, I'm going to show you the other option, which is a link. So here you can actually just copy and paste a link to a video that's already on the web, like for example on a YouTube. So you don't have to download it, you don't have to convert it and do all of that stuff. You can just paste the web address there. So to do that, what you would do is you need to first go to YouTube and then you need to find the video that you want. So maybe I want me and Miss Rodriguez's Big Books video. Here it is. So what I would do is I would copy and paste the link to that video. It's right up here. I'm going to click it, highlight it, copy. Then I'm going to come back over to my Glogster and paste that web address. And then once I'm done pasting it, I click Add to your files. And now I have it there. So, and also my photo story finished uploading. So what I do now is I just click whichever video I want to use. So we'll do my photo story. And the next option is I can create a different graphic to go around my video. So I'm going to click this tab up here that says players. And there's a lot of different options for what I can make my kind of video player to look like. So let's find something. Let's do this one. So once I click one, it'll kind of show me a preview of what that'll look like. I should make Joseph look really cute with some apples. There you go. Press the use it, and then it adds it to your blog. So from here, you have different options as well. You can, again, you can make the video smaller or bigger, however you like. You can click edit and you can change the color of the player. You can change the effects again by adding that shadow. And the last option is if you click this last button that kind of looks like two grinding, I don't know what those are called, um, circle things. <laughs> you have an option to do autoplay. What autoplay is, is if you want your video to automatically start playing as soon as somebody loads your blog. So as soon as somebody goes to your blog, do you want the video to start automatically or do you want to give them the option of clicking play? So I want to do it automatically. Then I can also change the volume it's going to play at. Press apply and then okay. And now I have added the video to my blog.